So, uh, good morning. Uh, who are you chaps then? I'm uh, Francis. I'm Oriol. Okay. And uh, what are you doing here today? Well, we are presenting uh, uh, an application that has been developed uh, during the Ebola outbreak okay. uh, in, uh, well, some time now ago. Um, the, the purpose of the application is to use gamification, a technique to, uh, that is used a lot in the learning uh, sites uh, for transmitting messages. What we intended to, intended to do uh, at that time is to transmit health promotion messages to the population, directly to the community. Uh, to, to uh, allow them to learn about how to protect uh, themselves from Ebola. Um, this has been done... Uh, Maybe you can zoom in on a bit there. Um, well, during the outbreak, it actually did not... Uh, it was never deployed completely. Um, and, but uh, it, we think it's an interesting uh, uh, exercise that we, have, that we are showing you today. So you're presenting the concept of gamification as a health promotion tool to get messages across. And here you've applied it to the context of Ebola, um, but your message is that you could apply it to any other context. It could be for cholera or it could be for any other different contexts. And it's the gamification that you're trying to present. Perhaps you could take us through, Oriol, uh, um, talk us through what you're doing here. So you, you, this is an online tool and you're tapping us through uh, what people will see when they go to the, uh, the website, which is, by the way, uh, all against Ebola, is that correct? Dot org. Dot yeah. org, if you Google all against Ebola, dot org. Oriem, go ahead. Sure. So basically, it's a small story about what could happen in, in an Ebola environment where the characters will face uh, typical situations where they have to take options and they will learn what they can do and what they, what they cannot do in, in these situations, where to contact, where, where to search for help. So you get points for making the right choice to wash your hands or not wash your hands, and Basically. you get less points for making the wrong choice, like run Basically, into the pub yes. and uh, hug everybody. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Carry on. And so this is Rita. Yes. We, you can choose between two characters, and then you go through different scenarios, like hospital, you go through the barber shop, you go through the school, you go through the church or the mosque, and, and you find different situations where you face challenges and you have to take these kind of decisions. And depending on what decision you take, you get better points or less points. And so this has been built for the context of Nigeria, that's correct. And so the characters and, the, and, the, uh, and all the cultural uh, issues, etc., they're all Nigerian context, is that correct? But you in, could, you'd have to rewrite it were you to do it in Haiti or, uh, or something else like this. Exactly. Initially it was for Nigeria, but then the, break, the outbreak in Nigeria went down, so we readapted for, for the other context. But basically it's a tool that now it's in two languages and should be adapted for, for each specific context. Context with the here we have the, the hotlines and there is the character of a mentor which is a kind of a message doctor which helps you to, to go through and, and choose which situations. And can I can I ask about wh while you were developing the product, how how much interaction did you have with the field staff and also the people living in West Africa? It was quite challenging because during the outbreak, all the staff who know about Ebola was super busy. So deciding which messages we can pass safely to the population and which ones we cannot, it was super tough. And then the task of gamification of these messages, how to, to show them in the scenarios that are correct, are correct, and at the same time try to make it funny or, or entertaining in some ways, this was a super big challenge. I would assume that gamification requires people to, to see a, a scenario that's quite realistic for them in their own context. So um, I, c I can imagine having been very, have, finding it very difficult to get time with all of our staff that were busy uh, in West Africa. Um, and so w when, when you were producing the product in Nigeria, what, what diseases were you considering at that stage? Well, first of all, if I, if I, um, we, we worked with an anthropologist uh, who, has be, who was working in, uh, in health promotion in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So uh, she was part of the team that developed the, the, the content, so to adapt the core message and, and the way we are transmitting the message to, to the local population. Um, so th we somehow took into account the, the community. But it's true that we, we should go for the next version, for the, for the future uh, initiative. Um, towards a more participative approach with the community, a direct interaction during the development. That is something that was not possible due to the, yeah. the response of, uh, to the emergency. Okay, so, so guys, what's next? I mean, are you going to uh, uh, build a whole series of different games, a cholera game, uh, uh, a meningitis game, a yellow fever vaccination game? Well, in 
preparation for future emergencies, or are you going to wait for the next thing to happen, then just apply what you've learned and try and build something really quickly and deploy it quickly? Can you give us an idea of your implementation uh, plan? Yeah, actually, we think it's, it has a, a, a lot of uh, interesting value for uh, preparation. So we would like to prepare another version of the product uh, for cholera in, in urban context, for example but needs to be prepared in advance. We cannot rely on development uh, just during the emergency. We saw that it was not an effective way to do. So, cholera so in urban... Yeah. And then iterate. Uh, yeah, and probably with a level of customization that you can adapt the core messages. We have all the designs done, um, different characters that we can choose of, different scenarios, um, um, and then to make up the, the final promo uh, promotion tool to be deployed uh, quickly. Fantastic. Fantastic. Are there any questions from my here? Anna, we have a question over here. Yeah. Go ahead. Hi. I think it's a really great idea. Um, but I was wondering how you're reaching out to the communities. Like, do you, how do you provide access to this? Does everybody have a tablet or a phone where they can, um, you know, get game? Yeah. Actually, it, it, it is available on face, through Facebook on normal computers also. Uh, so it's not just about the hardware. It is also available on, on low-tech uh, solutions. Uh, such you just need a browser to, to be able to adapt to, to play the game. Uh, but it's true. It, we have to take into account that it's not. It will not be able to be deployed in, in countries where there is no access to internet. There is no access to a, a minimum level of technology. Rural uh, is out of scope for this. Uh, for this. Uh, but the thinking is that you could move on in the future and develop an offline version and take it to the field uh, further and further into the bush. Yeah, as uh, a health promotion the tool. The concept yeah. of gamification as a health promotion tool, that's the thinking in the yeah. longer term. Yeah, on, on both ways. We, we, can, we can target different uh, uh, parts of the community, for example, teachers or health promoters or health staff. We can, we can use these to, to, to uh, raise their awareness or to transmit a uh, health promotion message for the working force or for the people who are going to transmit the message afterwards mm -hmm. so that they get well uh, internal the, the, the messages. And the other side is, is oh, as we explained to you, to, <coughs> to let it on the, on the internet and, and, and to let the community play. It has actually a, a social uh, share uh, possibility. So when you are finishing the, the, the game, we were thinking like, okay, I finished the game, I have a certain level of, of points. Uh, I'm going to share that with my network, so my community. So this, this would be then uh, promoted inside of, 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 of the family or the group. Uh, people would get start to, to oh, let's, let's go, let's play for that. And, and, and this would be the kind of transmission method of, of the application. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much indeed. Very exciting. Well done. Uh, a word to finish off, Jay? Uh, no, I think it looks really exciting. Yeah. Uh, I think the idea of gamification as a health promotion tool is uh, fantastic. Gamification as a health promotion tool. We'll end on that. Yeah. Thanks very much.